Not just the towel, but there is one more thing that must not touch the hot water in the bathtub. It is your hair. And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. If you're planning to come to Japan, I believe that trying out the hot springs or onsen in Japanese is on your to do list. Because Japan has many mountains and volcanoes, there are more than 20,000 onsen facilities in total. Hot springs have been an important part of Japanese culture since ancient times. Although onsen is a place where you can relax and refresh, you might be a little worried about how to properly do things. I've actually received some requests for this video through the comments and Instagram. Because onsen are a kind of public space, there are quite a lot of rules in order for everybody to peacefully enjoy their time there. So today, I will introduce the eight basic rules on how to enjoy onsen. Which are presented by most onsen facilities. By watching this video, you will be able to have a truly refreshing time when you visit these facilities. At the end of the video, as a resident in Kyoto, I would like to introduce my favorite onsen, which I recommend to you. But before I start, as I always say in these manner videos, I don't want anyone to be too nervous when visiting an onsen. Even a lot of Japanese people make mistakes too. So just keeping them someplace in your mind is fine. So let's go to the next one. Number one, take off your clothes. I understand that it's quite embarrassing at first to completely take off your clothes at the onsen. I myself don't go to onsen that often, so every time I go, I too hesitate a bit. But you're not allowed to wear a bathing suit in the onsen. This is because the personal bathing suits might be dirty and are considered not clean or hygienic. What you can do is to use towels to hide your private parts. If you don't want to be completely naked in front of other people no matter what, going to a private onsen or bath, or looking for facilities that allow mixed bathing with bathing suits would be the options. However, not every onsen has private and mixed baths, so the places you can go to will be limited. Number two. Wash your hair and body before entering the bathtub. The onsen will all have showering areas where you can wash your hair and body. You must definitely do so before you go into the bathtubs. There are some Japanese people too who are lazy and go into the bathtubs right away. However, this is against the rules of onsen because obviously it will make the hot water in the bathtub dirty. That everyone enters together. Number three, be careful with the shower. So now you know that you must wash your hair and body before entering the bathtub. You will sit down at one of the showering areas to do so. However, there are some rules here too. The shower booths are right next to each other, meaning that you have to be careful when you spray water. If you use it like you do at home, you may accidentally get water on the people next to you. This is thought of as something rude, so you need to be careful. If you don't want to be too nervous about this, I recommend you use the shower booth on the end of each row that has only one neighboring booth to its side. Or some also have shower areas where you can stand to use. These areas are completely separated from the other rooms, so you can look for these places too. Number four, rinse the items and put them back together. Now that you have washed your hair and body, finally it's time to go into the bathtub. I bet you want to hop in right away, but hold on. There is one last thing you have to keep in mind. At 
each shower booth. There's usually a seat and a pail you use while washing your hair and body. When you leave the shower area, be sure to quickly rinse these items and return them to their original positions. This is crucial in order to care for the next person using that area. However, there are some Japanese who don't return these items to where they should be. In that case, you can just put it back in the way you think is neat. Number five, do not enter from the pouring gate. Finally, it's time for you to go into the bathtubs. So far, you've only done what you usually do at home. When you go into the bathtubs, there is one thing that you have to watch out for. It is to avoid entering from the pouring gate of each bathtub. This is where the new clean hot water is coming into the bathtub. So if someone sits there, it means that all the hot water in that bathtub has touched that person. No matter how clean that person washed their bodies, it's still a little unpleasant. Try to sit as far away as possible from the pouring gate. Number six, do not dip towels into the bathtub. When I introduced the first rule of taking off your clothes, I explained that you can use a towel to hide your private parts. So it's okay to bring a face towel into the bathing area, but be sure to not dip the towel into the bathtub. This is because your towel might have shampoo from when you washed your body and they can be dirty. When you enter the bathtub, it might be a little embarrassing, but you are not allowed to hide your body with a towel. You have to keep the towel on the edge of the bathtub or on your head like this that you often see in pictures. Number seven, do not let your hair in the bathtub. Not just the towel, but there is one more thing that must not touch the hot water in the bathtub. It is your hair. The reason is almost the same as the towel. It's not very clean and you'll make the people around you uncomfortable. Don't swim in the bathtubs like a pool and never put your whole head in the water. If you have long hair, be sure to bring a hairband with you. Number eight, wipe your body before returning to the dressing room. Now that you have enjoyed your time in the onsen, it's time to leave the bathing area. When you do so, there is one last thing that you should do. It is to wipe your body before returning to the dressing room where you took off your clothes. You must do this with the towel you brought into the bathing area. If you go back into the dressing room dripping wet, it will make the floor dirty. This must be avoided to care for the people around you. By the way, you don't have to be completely dry though. That's difficult using a small towel. Just to the point that you're not dripping is okay. And you can use larger towels in the dressing room to completely dry yourself. Then lastly, please let me introduce you to my recommended onsen ryokan in Kyoto. It is the one in the Arashiyama area, Kyoto Arashiyama Onsen Kadensho. The Arashiyama area is famous for the bamboo forest, monkey park, and Zen temples. There are five reasons why I would like you to try out this onsen ryokan. One, it is in the middle of the famous and beautiful Arashiyama area. Two, you can stay in a Japanese style room. Three, there are both the shared onsen and the private onsen. Four, kaiseki meal, tempura, and all-you-can-drink system are served. Five, the price is reasonable. I would say that the best part is that they provide both the shared onsen and the private ones. I know that some people would like to try out the shared onsen as an experience, but you might have family members who don't want to. Also, having tattoos wouldn't be a problem in the private baths too. This onsen refers to that themselves on their website. 
By the way, some onsen only have one kind of private onsen. But here, there are five that all have different concepts. I hope you can take a look at their English website and add it to your to-do list when you visit Kyoto and Arashiyama. Then lastly, today's conclusion. I explained the eight basic rules they have to follow when you take a bath at an onsen. One, take off your clothes. It might be a little embarrassing, but you are not allowed to wear a bathing suit due to hygienic reasons. You can use a towel to hide your private parts. Two, wash your hair and body before entering the bathtub. Use the shower area to wash yourself before entering the bathtubs to keep the water clean. Three, be careful with the shower. Watch out not to splash the people next to you when you use the shower booth. Four, rinse the items and put them back together. After using the shower area, lightly rinse the seat and pail and put it back where it was. Five, do not enter from the pouring gate. The pouring gate is where the new clean hot water comes out, so you need to avoid sitting near it. Six, do not dip towels into the bathtub. Be careful not to dip your towel in the hot water. This is because your towel might have some shampoo on it from when you washed yourself. Seven, do not lay your hair in the bathtub. With the same reason as towels, you should never let your hair in the bathtub. Do not dive into or swim in the bathtub. And if you have long hair, be sure to bring a hairband. Eight, wipe your body before returning to the dressing room. Use the towel you brought in to lightly wipe your body before you return to the dressing room to avoid making the floor dripping wet. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If this video helped you to deepen your understandings towards the onsen culture in Japan, please hit the like button to let me know. And my goal is to achieve 100,000 subscribers by January 2022, so your help is what I need. In this channel, you can take a closer look at Japanese traditional culture, tips on traveling to Kyoto, and social problems in Japan. So learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Dowo, arigatou gozaimashita.